Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I was a bit late. Um, welcome back to my new Facebook Live. After the summer holidays, I did start doing it on a Friday night, but by Friday night, I was just exhausted every week and I couldn't um, keep up with it. So I'm back. Friday mornings is where we're going to be. Um, and I'm very excited to get some Christmas crafting done. Um, yeah, and I've we've got some sweet gingerbread, um, the stamp and die set. So I've got that out, and I made a card yesterday. And as if you've watched a few of my videos before, you'll know that I always then <laughs> randomly change it on the day because I start thinking about it, and I, uh, yeah, change my mind. So we're gonna see what we can make this morning. Um, yeah, so it's quite exciting. Um, I was just making a reel actually which is why I was a little bit like I got a bit carried away I'm making a like a little reel um so make sure you check that out on um my Instagram probably my Facebook as well actually um and also in other news I've now um created a YouTube channel so all my old Facebook lives are on my um YouTube channel which is just divine handcraft creations and um and then every week as i do these videos these facebook live videos i will upload them straight away onto my youtube channel let's do that and also i'm gonna add a few other random videos in as well that are just gonna be on youtube and um, so make sure you subscribe because otherwise you'll miss it i won't um put them on facebook or instagram uh, so yeah so should we get some crafting done i've managed to clear my desk a little bit there's a giant pile on the floor but don't tell anyone it's a secret um behind every tidy crafter's desk is a messy floor um so let's get crafting let's make some more mess and um, we've got all day to tidy it up um yeah so i'm just gonna turn the camera around and we shall get going just gonna have to look at my ceiling for a second That's weird. My thing disappeared. I just have to look at my face for a second. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you go. There's a mess inside. Um, that's weird. That button wasn't there. And I picked something. I clicked something else. Swiped along, and it appeared. How bizarre. Right. Anyway, so this is the um card that we're going to make today so it's from the sweet gingerbread stamp set and the gingerbread house dies that i've used um so when i made this card i realized that i've only ever used like soft subtle colors with this design so this is my card that i made the other week at one of my craft events you can see pink um this is i love this this is from the celebration i've said this a few weeks ago um so again subtle colors subtle colors so i think i'm gonna be really brave and use some stronger reds and greens and make it more christmasy um but i hope you like the design it is really uh simple i just made this background myself with some of the stamps um, and then I will make this one. Um, so I had got left the colours out that I'd done this in and I was going to use those. But um, on the drive back home from preschool this morning, I changed my mind. So I think... Let me just get a couple of reds and greens out. Some possibles. So we've got garden green, cherry cobbler... Uh, real red shaded spruce so these are the ones i think of being the most christmasy colors let's go real red and garden green um, if i have time today i might make another one in the other two just as a comparison so yeah, so let's go these two. And then I also need um 
Mmm, let's get these two down. So I generally do my gingerbread in crumb cake. Maybe let's try soft suede. We'll try it out first just as a to see what we think it comes out like. Um yeah, so let's cut those down. Um let me just get some card out. Let's get this out. So I don't know if anyone else oh we've got this stamp there. But I do find the house stamp. stamp really so I just use my stamp and pierce mat underneath and it just sorts it out so if you've got this I think because this mat this green mat is quite hard it doesn't push back so it's quite difficult um but as soon as I've got this done or if you've got um I did it on my dining table the other day and because it's got the table protector underneath it's a bit spongy and then that helps as well um, let's just cut first of all our front layers and then we can stamp on this one. So for the front and the inside I need a piece that's 10 by 14 point oh four, I'll try not to score it. And then the other piece. I haven't decided what the card base I'm going to do yet, so we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll do these bits first. Um, so no, nope, I need a bigger bit of scrap paper than that. Um, come here. Oh my goodness, it's not going well this morning. Alright. Just gonna have to get a massive bit out instead. Okay. Um, there you can see there's always been times where I haven't put a bit of paper down, but we should put a bit of paper down. Um, today. So I'm gonna get my real road out and my. Green out. So I've already put them on blocks. So I've got them from yesterday. I'm just gonna get my stamp cleaner out and the spray. So when I did my original one, I did one line first, four line, and then I could do it quicker. I'll show you what I mean um, with this one. So, let's oh. I think these are going to look fab in the stronger colours. Not sure about the house, but we'll see. We're going to we're going to be brave. Not, maybe not we, I'm going to be brave. Oops, that's a bit in the mind, it doesn't matter how the house is going to go, that bit. Please turn that one. So, so now I've done a line, it's much easier to put the other ones in. So we know that's going to go there. It's going to go there. So let's do the hearts and then I'm just going to see a little bit on the top. Oh. 
But there we go. one's a good scrub because don't you get any of that ink on you that is the sort that will stain your hands for a couple of days um there you go so that is the background so that's quite easy um i will get those stamps back out to do the inside um in a bit but we'll wait and see what happens so let's do Let's have a quick play with the gingerbread house to see what colour we think it should be. Right, so that is crumb cake. And this one is, yeah, it's all swayed. I just have to question myself which one it was. Mmm, choices. Do you know what I'm going to end up doing? I'm going to end up stamping both. Cutting out, which isn't a bad thing because I always definitely use it. That's the crumb cake. Which looks nice. Okay, and then we've just got to do the roof. Oh, I've obviously moved it. So, I don't know if anyone else has found this. The, the roof one, I think because of the angle it is, can move quite easily. I mean, you can see that it's not, I haven't put it on straight. And then I did it thinking it was right, and then I went to cut it out, and it didn't line up with the um, die. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, that looks fine. But that fits over that. Um, I don't need that for any else, I don't think. Oh, actually, yes, I do. I really like the little swirly detail. I've been really organised and taking that off as well. Um, on there. I'll just use it on this one. Um, on the house, this little light print. Can you see it? Just gonna put that on there and hope it's in the right place. Oh yeah, sure. This one might not show. Oh no, I was wrong. And see, it does show up, doesn't it? And oh, oh, I've touched on that. Um, and all I've done is just re stamped it over the top in the same colour. That's fine, I'm gonna cut that bit off anyway. Um, so that's those. Let's just trim those down. So we're gonna have to decide which one we're gonna do. Um, so, and then we're also going to, let's do some more trees, stamp some of those out, how many are we going to need, let's do, the great thing about this set is you get two tree dies, um, which is fab, so you can cut two out at once. So that's those. Um, 
Oh, do you know what I'm doing? All my haste of this bit. I didn't put this one in. So this is the stamp that creates a shape around the windows and the doors. But it's lining it up. Okay. Um, the camera in your face is fun. Also with this, I don't need that one, so I'll put it on back. Um, stamp set, you get the door and the windows. Um, so let's do the door. Oh, mm, this is the difficult bit. I have a slurp of my tea while we have a think about colour. Maybe let's do the windows first <laughs> while we think about it. So saffron, um, soft sea foam, um, ink pad. You can tell what I've been stamping <laughs> recently. I'm gonna do that one, and then the because this is a lighter one, I'm gonna do the second. So you can, might not show up, but you can see it. Um, on there, put that one back, and then they get this really cute. Oh, it's not gonna say little door. See it with a little heart. So, we're gonna put that on there. But what color shall we do it? Oh no, oh no, this is the sort of stuff that stomps me. I want to do it in red and green. So what maybe I'll do it in a light heart red. That's for stamp it. generation just so it's um there you go, it's not quite as well this one can cope with a Okay. I'm not sure if that's the right decision. We'll, we'll find out at some point whether I've made the wrong decision. But all right, let's cut some stuff out and then get um assembling. My space is very slowly and um, closing in on me. <laughs> then I remember that so I said in, in August I'm gonna um, treat myself to using my new plates. Well, <laughs> that still hasn't happened. I'm still using these ones. I have got some new ones. They are on the shelf there, right in front of me. Have I used them? No. I think I'll probably use these ones to they crack. Just gonna, apologies for the sickness. Let's make it a little bit wobbly. There you go, so there's our house. And here is our roof. Bin. and then we're just going to do the set so apologies this is like a bit of wasting time but I really can't decide which house I think is going to look better with those bolder colours so I'm just going to um so I've just stamped two just so we can make that decision 
holding it up in front of the background did it, <laughs> did it work i think i need to see it made up and pops on there oh. Oh no, it's the monkey. Yeah. Um, go, roof. And I also need the trees, don't I? And then whilst I'm here, after I've done this one, I'm going to cut out the little label. Um, as well that we can mount this on and then um, put a sentiment on the front don't move, don't move um, I think one of the trees has moved oh no, oh, no. So I hope everyone's had a good week. Those of you that have got children or um, grandchildren, they've all finally gone back to school and um, everyone can just breathe a little sigh of relief. But I do definitely feel, as soon as the kids have gone back, I feel like it's full on autumn, Christmas, Halloween, the lot. <laughs> it's just, it was literally like overnight on Sunday night. It's just turned, isn't it? Obviously, I think the rain's making it feel worse. I think I've worn a coat today for the first time in, well, who knows? I don't think I even wore one. Well, no, I wouldn't have worn one over the summer because it didn't rain, did it? Well, I don't know. It's been a while. But I didn't put a jumper on and I instantly regretted it. I think I should have had a jumper and coat on. Yes. Um, oh, let me get the label out. I'm still using... Oh, no, I'm not. I changed my mind, didn't I? So in there, seasonal labels die. So these are a carryover from last year. And they go with the Christmas to remember. Um, do you remember all of these ones? I've used this shape one. Um, cut it off. I think this is my favourite one. Just cut it before we use that bit. On. There's a random bit of tape here. Oh, apologies for the, if anyone can hear the noise outside. I think this is the first time also I've been in this room and not had the window open for a very, very long time. And no matter what time of the day you come into this room, it's like a sauna. So let's assemble this. I just need my little embellish um, dimensionals. Where is it hiding? Um, I worked out to get three on here without having to cut it, which is good. Um, I'm probably going to do some of the lollipops and things in a minute, but we'll just see how we get on. That's the first one. 
Now let's do this one and see. Oh, I'm really annoyed the die moved. Fine, we can put something over it. No one will even notice. Um, So we're gonna put this, this is gonna go here. So we've got to decide which one we think. Oh I think the darker one. It's because it's those stronger colours, isn't it? I think. That's alright though. Okay, look, we can put that there. Right there. So because of that, I think I'm going to do this on a um, red card base because we've got that extra green as part of the, with the trees. Where's the real red? Oh look, there's one here. Purple. Anyone know? Here it is. Has anybody seen my... Do you know where it was? I put it away where it belongs. <laughs> Obviously, so unlike me. So let's stick that straight on there. I did have a glue, I haven't run out anyway. I just like it as that. I think that looks really cute. So, so for this one, I'm going to change it as well. And do let's have a sweet Christmas. And I'll do that in the bread as well. So I'm going to do it as far over as I can in the middle of that bit there. Just give that a quick scrub. So this is my stamp scrub that I've just got to the side of me all this time. Let's keep those um in a nice addition. Here's my big dimensionals. Oh, I didn't tidy these bits away. What should we do? Let's maybe put this on first. Actually, I just need some of these edge bits of my just to put down the middle. I don't want to put any too near the end in case I um end up tucking some of the trees and things behind. Let's maybe put that one here. Okay, and then I'm not gonna put the trees on dimensionals. I'm gonna put use the glue to stick those on and I'm just gonna cover up the fact my die went a bit wonky. So start that one, and then the other one. I think I'm going to stick behind. So because I'm sticking it behind the house, I'm actually going to put some glue on the front of the tree. Okay. Give that a minute to stick to that one, and then. Shall we go a little bit crazy? So here. Shall we do an embossed lollipop? Gold embossed lollipop. Just because we can. 
Okay, let's just get in there. Where is... Oh look, perfect size. I'm just going to emboss that. wrong stickier than i thought right oh i hate comes on plugged in but that's okay we can do that make sure you put the lid back on that so yes Give me a second just while I plug this in here. Right, so it's going to be a bit noisy. So I'm just going to sound like I'm blow drying my hair. But I'm not. I'm Lollipops. I hope that, that actually is what they are. Um, and we do have this is another one actually that came with two dies for this one, so you can cut more than one out at a time. But we are just gonna do one. lovely um stamp set and they did do a um a gingerbread one last year um it was like shapes and things uh, like stars and hearts and stuff there was some really lovely gingerbread paper and i didn't get it and afterwards i thought oh i should have got that so this was the one was definitely on my list Um, this year, mm, stick it on that side. Okay, that'll be fine. Um, so now we're just going to quickly do the bit on the inside. Golden green. And one, so for the one I did, where's my original one gone? Oh, you know, it's right in front of me. So I did this one and it's got second generation. So I'm going to do the same um, again, but obviously still keeping it in the brighter or the darker colours. Same on this side. And oh, so we did have a sweet Christmas. So let's do from our home to yours. That with a red. Um, flower underneath. And then we can stick that in and then the, all there's left to do is to put some snow on the front. Hopefully 
that lollipops um, stand still. So this is the Snowball Accents Puff Paint. Um, and then the other one that I did, it's also, so it's, unless it's dry night, you can just see it on here. Um, so this time, I think I'm going to put a little bit on the, when I say a little bit, you see it just, <laughs> the first one pops, jumps right out. I think you never have too much. So that will dry and I will leave it most of the day. That one. So that is it. That's us done. Let me move these bits out of the way. So this was my original one that I did yesterday. Um, so I've used more subtle colours. So this is Petal Pink uh, Soft Sea Foam. So that's that one. And then... I was really brave and did it in stronger, bolder um, colours. So this is Garden Green and Real Red. And then I've used Soft Suede for the Gingerbread House. Um, so yeah, so that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this um, and it's inspired you to start some Christmas um, crafting. As I would count how many weeks it is, but I don't think I want to know at the moment. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Um, I hope it doesn't rain all weekend for everybody. Um, and I shall see you all next Friday. Speak to you later. Bye.